Here's my complete guide to single arm hanging mastery. If you haven't mastered passive hanging and active to passive hanging reps with both arms, then I suggest that you watch my video on that. You can click or tap the screen there to watch it. But if you have followed that video and you're ready for your single arm hanging mastery workout, then let's get into it. We're gonna be doing this workout six days a week and it only takes about three to five minutes depending on how long you can do your single arm hang transitions for and how many reps you can do. So it could take up to seven or eight minutes, but that means that you've got some real strength and some endurance. So we're gonna do this at the start of your workout. This is the very first thing that you do. It's a great way to warm up for pretty much any upper body calisthenics workout, handstands, anything like that. And you will do this, as I said, five to six days a week. Personally, I do this six days a week, which means that we're not going to absolute 100% max effort. So the workout starts with 60 seconds of passive hanging. So you do your 60 second passive hang. After your 60 second passive hang and take a break, then we move into single arm hang transitions. So you go to one arm and then you come down and hang passively for three seconds. Three seconds is your first goal and you work up towards being able to do 10 seconds per hang. So take note that when I come up, I just grab on, shift my weight to this side and gently let go and I hang completely passively in one arm. Now, once you can do your goal again to start with is to do an accumulated total of 30 to 90 seconds. So that means, you know, when I started with this, I could barely do 30 seconds. So I would do three sets and I could only do um, three second hangs per arm. And over the, I think I've been doing this for about two years now. Over the years, I can now do 10 second hangs per arm. And my best effort is a five minute uh, full set unbroken and if you want to see that I'll put a link right there for you where you can see me do a full five minutes of this but it's an incredible exercise because it's building really really good single arm grip strength it's also building pulling strength that's going to help you work towards your you know pull-ups muscle ups one arm pull-ups all that stuff but basically when you do this exercise you're the main thing that you want to be able to do is to hang passively without swinging. So this is a bad rep. See how I'm swinging around here? That's, we don't want that. So you want to come up, shift your weight over to this side, feel the point where you can just go down slowly and then hang passively and try to hang completely still. Okay, back up, shift your weight and back down. So you'll do this for, so you do your 60 seconds of passive hanging, rest for a minute, and then you do this for an accumulated total of 30 to 90 seconds is your first goal. And then when you work up to being able to do eight to 10 seconds per hang, like what I'm doing now, I don't have my stopwatch here, so it's about 10 seconds per hang. Then your next goal is to do an accumulated total of 90 seconds, so a minute and a half to five minutes. So that's your next goal. And I don't have my timer here, but I'm sure I'm already about over the two minute mark. So you can see that it's absolutely attainable to be able to hang for that long unbroken like this. And then once you've done, your, you've hit your goal for your accumulated total, now we're going to move into single arm, active passive hanging reps. Pull hard. Hold for three seconds, down with control. Single arm active passive hanging reps are very challenging, but they are going to develop some incredible upper body strength for pulling. So to offset how difficult these are, we're gonna start by using some assistance with a towel or a rope or anything that you can you know, grab onto. So you set up your towel or your rope like this, and you try to do as much or all of the work on the pulling arm, of course, pull up as high as you can, hold for three seconds, back down for one second, pause for one second, pull up for one second, hold for three seconds, back down. And what you're looking for is that every rep you pull to the same height. Pull as hard as you need to with this hand. Whatever you need to do to get up to that same height with every rep, that's what you'll do. 
Of course, you keep the elbow completely straight, okay? Hold for three seconds on each rep, back down. And you're gonna work up to being able to do one set of 10 reps with the hand assistance, where every rep you hold for three seconds at the top and you go to the same height with your shoulders. So you go from a complete passive hang and you pull right up so that your shoulders are at the same height. That's really, really important. And then at that point, we're gonna get rid of the towel or the assistance that you're using and we're gonna do this unassisted and we're gonna repeat that process, starting with three reps per set, using progressive overload, doing this daily, six days a week until you can get up to 10 reps. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so now we go to a complete passive hang, pull hard, hold for three seconds, down with control, pause for one second, pull up with control, pause for three seconds, back down. And we're really focusing on getting maximum scapular depression holding for three seconds, back down under control, and doing all of that without bending the elbow. Next thing to talk about is the grip. So when you think of hanging, most people think that it's all just about gripping on as hard as you can. And whilst that is a really good grip to use, there's another semi-grip that I like to use as well. So where you really just are gripping with this part of the fingers, and there's a really good reason for doing that. When you grip where you grab on with your whole hand like this, all of the force goes here, okay? And you end up getting some pretty wicked calluses. I'll see if I can clear mine up a bit so you can see. So if you look there at those calluses there, they'll get to a point where if you're doing hanging daily, where it starts to cause blisters underneath and that becomes the weak link that prevents you from being able to hang anymore. So what happens is, that when you grip with your fingers here, you start to put all the pressure on the knuckles here on the fingers. So it's basically just a way to disperse the work and the strain that goes into the palm of your hands. And I found that to be really, really useful. So when you start, you definitely wanna be hanging, you know, as tight as you can like this, so that you're gripping with your whole hand. But after, if you start to feel that the pain in the calluses in these, in these knuckles here, is causing you too much discomfort and you can't hang, then try gripping where you go this way with your fingers. It's much harder. It took me, oh, I don't know, when I started doing it, it took me another month to three months or so of going through a new adaptation to be able to grip because I actually use that when I do my single arm hanging because it puts so much pressure on the grip on these knuckles here when you're, when you're doing a single arm hang like that that it just creates blisters for me. So it's just something for you to think about, you know, different ways that you can hang to alleviate some of that discomfort. When you do that workout daily, six days a week, you will achieve phenomenal strength and flexibility and hanging ability. Now, just remember this takes time. I'm 45 now, I think I started hanging when I was in my mid 30s, about 35, 36, and I've been following this regime of doing like six days a week of hanging probably for maybe a year or two now. So. If you look at the, the total time it's taken me to get here, it's been about nine years, but I've only really been hanging like this, doing this, this consistently for about a year. So just allow your body to adapt. And remember that adaptation occurs through repetition. So you might feel like when you try hanging for the first time, you can't do it at all, but that's what that other video is for, is to teach you how to go from that point to being able to do a 60 second hang and also to be able to do active and passive hanging transitions. And then once you get to that point and you start working on this single arm hanging routine that we've got here, you know, when you get to a, a really good point where you can do a 60 second passive hang and five minutes of single arm hang transitions and then 10 reps of active to passive hang, that's a really, really good standard and it's gonna be immensely useful for you for all your upper body pulling work, but it's also really good just for alignment of the body. It's great for shoulder um, flexibility. It's also really good as like a, a push-pull movement um, for a handstand. So a handstand, obviously, when you're upside down, you're pushing away from the ground and when you're hanging, you're in that same position, but you're pulling. So it's a really, really good push-pull offset for the handstand work that you're probably doing and it's just great for overall health and general well-being. 
If you like that video, then check out one of my other videos here. And if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments, like and subscribe, of course, and I'll see you in my next video.